What is up everyone? Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe. My name is Mara. We like to go hair here on this channel. So today we're actually going to be talking about single strand knots and how to prevent them. Actually, I wouldn't even say how to prevent them because I feel like there's no definite way to get rid of single strand knots 100%. Like the adjustments that you can do to your hair care routine can definitely help reduce single strand knots, but I don't necessarily think that is going to prevent them 100%. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So before we slide into this video, guys, we, we have reached 5k subscribers we have surpassed 5k subscribers thank you all so much thank you guys for subscribing like i honestly cannot even tell you how happy this has made me like i checked my account this week and i was like 5k last time i checked we was in the fours but okay so like I said, once we reach 5k subscribers, we will definitely be doing a giveaway. So this actually came much sooner than I was actually expecting because, you know, the 5k giveaway. One of you guys is going to win all of my favorite natural hair products. So we in a pandemic, it's kind of hard to get stuff delivered out, shipped out. So that's what I mean by kind of caught me off guard and kind of... I, I wasn't rushing it pretty much just because of that reasoning, but I'm so glad that we actually reached 5k subscribers. So again, thank you guys so much and definitely be tuned for the upcoming video because one of them will be detailing what we need to do to enter that 5k giveaway so that way you guys have a chance to win. And it'll also be telling you guys all the products that you will be winning if you were selected to win. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and slide right into this video. I don't wanna make it too long. It's just a couple of tips and things that you can do um, to adjust your hair care routine to make it a little better and to reduce single strand knots. So let's get right into it. So I do have my notebook here just so that way we don't get off topic. You know, if I got if I got some tips or if I got some journey updates or something, it's in my notebook. So pretty much starting off, if you do not know what a single strand knot is, it's a hair strand or a couple of hair strands that is raveling or tangling upon one another. And normally this occurs like at the bottom of your hair or kind of like somewhere along this area, but it's always closer to the bottom, especially for me. So it's kind of like one strand that tangles upon itself and sometimes it has like other strands mixed up in the mix and then you got multiple strand hair knots and then it's just a mess. How do you get single strand knots? So whenever I have split ends and my hair actually splits further up, the higher that it's splitting, the more your hair is actually damaging on the end. So pretty much what that means is if your hair is just like splitting upwards, it's obviously going to cause more damage. But there's also the increased risk of, of that particular split in entangling or knotting on another strand of hair and then they both break off so split ends is definitely something that you want to watch out for it's definitely something that you want to take care of getting your hair trimmed every two times a year or every once in a while is definitely benefiting you because you are removing the dead ends but you're also removing those single strand knots as well the second thing that i've noticed that actually cause single strand knots is if my hair is really dry so sometimes i just go without moisturizing my hair when i say moisturizing i mean water because water is like the number one moisturizer for natural hair um and the second moisturizer would be for me a leave-in conditioner so when you have no moisture in your hair you obviously have dry hair which is more prone to breakage and if you're more prone to breakage then you're not going to see as much length retention it also is going to cause more tangles or more mats so when it's actually time for you to go and detangle your hair and you're not moisturizing properly like you should all those single strands of hair they're going to mat and tie and knot against one another and then it's actually going to cause a bigger knot sometimes it causes single strand knots and then it's just going to be breakage or even more shedding so the third factor that I think would cause like single strand knots is over manipulation and I've actually said this in quite a few of my videos, um, over manipulation is pretty much when you are doing too much to your hair. So, so say for instance on Monday you do a wash and go, Tuesday you let it do whatever, Wednesday you want to do your hair again, you do another wash and go, Wednesday night, Thursday morning your hair dries and it's not the way that you're used to, it's not the style that you like so you change it again, it's now Friday and you've changed your hair three times this week, girl you over manipulate 
pretty much what you want to do get a hairstyle and stick with it if you're going to do a wash and go do your wash and go using products that you know would work or that works best for your hair and then the next week try to do a different hairstyle the first week you did your wash and go the second week try to do like a different protective style maybe like a bun some braids some twists something like that so that way you're not over manipulating your hair and you're keeping your hands away from your hair you're not constantly touching or combing or brushing your hair and causing breakage I think the fourth one for me is like the last one that I found personally for me um, and that's if you have curly or wavy hair so I have different curl patterns in my hair the back is wavy the front is semi curly the sides is doing whatever it's like a tighter curl pattern so pretty much what I mean is any hair type that's pretty much not straight you are more prone to single strand knots split ends breakage just because I feel like for example when you do your wash and goes you have your gel in and then your hair is coiling on each other at the end which is again normally where my single strand knots fall in place I've never noticed single strand knots when my hair was relaxed like I really didn't look for it that wasn't something for me to look for when I was relaxed I'm sure I had some I've noticed a lot of split ends when I was relaxed but single strand knots that's never something that I've notice in my relaxed hair until I actually became natural and my hair started growing and I was able to actually like look at my hair in more detail probably this little cluster of hair probably has like two single strand knots in it so it's definitely something that us curly girls wavy girls kink girls coily girls we definitely do go through and again we are more susceptible to it we are more prone to it that's just the way it is our hair it easily tangles because it obviously is curly it's not straight so we got to be careful so some ways that i found to kind of reduce single strand knots again getting your hair trim would be my first one i get my hair trim pretty much whenever my hair is straight if i straighten my hair back to back i would pick one of those straightening sessions to get my hair trimmed but like i said getting your hair trimmed definitely removes any dead ends split ends or single strand knots what i used to do when i noticed that i had like single strand knots and i had my nails i would actually just pull the single strand knot off which probably really isn't the best thing to do and i probably shouldn't tell y'all that because i know that a couple of y'all may try that but that can actually damage your hair strand or your hair follicles so don't do it and yeah don't don't listen to me on that one so the second tip that I found helpful is to actually keep your hair moisturized. Again, water is my biggest moisturizer and then it's leave-in conditioner. So your hair pretty much thrives off of moisture. If your hair is not moisturized, again, you have breakage, you have split-ins, you have tangles, you have mats, and that's just stuff that you don't want. So also when I say moisture, I mean by also doing a deep conditioner. So when I do my deep conditioner, I also steam my hair. So that opens up my hair follicles and the hair mask or the deep conditioner it adds like the protein the ingredients that the regular conditioner doesn't have and it also adds the moisture back into my hair because my hair is dry my relaxed hair was dry my natural hair is sahara does it right here and also adding moisture back into your hair like leave-in conditioner for example my meal leave-in conditioner it actually adds slip to my hair that's why i actually like it so if i'm going to change your hairstyle i'm going to try a new hairstyle for that week i'm actually going to use a conditioner that actually has a little bit more slip as opposed to one that doesn't my third tip that i found again i've said this in one of my videos do not over manipulate your hair protective styling is key if you have to do braids if you have to do a bun do it keep your fingers away from your hair keep your brush your comb your edge control keep it all away from your hair so definitely just try to do a little bit more protective styles again if you do a wash and go one week try to do a bun or braids or mini twists or mini braids like just so that way you can go multiple weeks without touching your hair and the ends of your hair is actually tucked away like i said when i was relaxed i didn't really notice too many single strand knots in my hair and that was because my hair was straight it stretched i always kept it blowed out for a majority of the time and then i always kept it straight for a majority of the time so for example when i did my mini braids I could have done my hair when my hair was wet. I could have braided my hair when it was wet. I could have done my box braids. I could have parted it. I could have brushed it. I could have did all of that when it was wet. But I actually blow dried my hair and I braided my hair on my stretch blow dried hair. So that's what I mean by stretching your hair. So your hair strands are obviously stretched. Like they're straight but they're not flat iron straight. As opposed to braiding your hair on soaking wet hair. Like your hair is still curling and your ends are still coiling on each other. The fourth tip that I have um, it is to 
I wouldn't necessarily say cut out all wash and goes because obviously you're natural like wash and goes like that and it's the main hairstyle for natural people. So I definitely wouldn't say to cut out wash and goes but I'd say like do less wash and goes because wash and goes definitely is that style that will have your hair coiled upon each other because although if you brush your hair to apply your hair products during your wash and goes even if it's wet and your hair dries. To break that gel cast, you have to add oil, and then if you choose to separate your curls, especially at the end, it could cause the strands to tangle upon each other or tangle on itself just by breaking it apart. So I wouldn't say like completely cut it out, but definitely just do less. <laughs> Switch up your hairstyles, like I said, one week do a wash and go, second week do braids, third week do a bun and if you feel like you don't want to switch it up you don't want to do a hairstyle aside from a wash and go like sometimes I'm like that I don't feel like doing other protective styles I just want to do wash and goes back to back to back week after week that's perfectly fine just find the products that you feel would work with your hair and then when your hair dries try not to touch it because again when you start to touch your hair and you start to unravel your hair that's where the tangles and the knots come in at okay so the last tip i feel like this tip is just something that is like every day like this is something that you need to do so that way you can retain lymph and this is how you're handling your hair at night. How are you putting your hair up at night? Some people actually choose to put their hair in a pineapple. That's perfectly fine. That just doesn't work for me because when I wake up in the morning, my hair is going to be stuck on top of my head and that just doesn't look good to me. So for me, I would actually use like a silk satin scarf. I have that laid over top of my pillow so that way it's protecting my hair as I'm sleeping. Just know not to use like cotton pillowcases, cotton towels because the threading of the cotton, it actually causes breakage by snagging your hair. That is something that I've seen a lot when I was relaxed. I would always find like little hairs in my towel because... I was always drying my relaxed hair with a towel. So definitely invest or look into like a silk satin pillowcase or a silk satin scarf to at least put your hair up. It's not rubbing on cotton, it's not causing breakage and it actually helps contain that moisture. But yeah, those are my quick little tips that I found to help reduce single strand knots or split ends for that matter. If you guys like this video and you did find it helpful, please be sure to give a thumbs up. Make sure you share it just so that way you can pass it on to your curly friends and they can benefit as well. Also guys, do not forget to subscribe. But yeah, I do hope you guys are remaining safe during this pandemic. Definitely take every precaution to keep yourself and your family safe. But guys, my throat is dry. I did a lot of talking. So I will see you in my next video.